Our request is money from the state for well number two. And my request, no, well number two is completed. Uh, no, I said money from the state for well number two. Reimbursement for right. expenses. Right. 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 And my only question is, is that uh, uh, are you you're, you asking the state for three hundred ninety-two thousand seven sixty minus ten thousand, or are you asking the state for four hundred seventy-five thousand, which you're telling USDA is the number? Uh, um, your numbers, not mine. Uh, no, I understand, but you're you're looking at numbers that you generated by no, looking no, 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 at. I'm copying these off your report. I know, except that that's not in this report for this discussion before. No, the my, my question is simple. Are you asking for three hundred ninety-two thousand? Are you asking for four hundred seventy-five thousand? We're asking for whatever the remainder of the project cost <laughs> is. That the invoices, that <laughs> the, the invoices total. Um, oh, that's one know. thing that we're, one th I, off the top of my head, that is, that's not an agenda item, and that is not something that I have prepared, and I don't just throw numbers out, and I also can tell you that the information that's being presented and thrown around to the public, like the district doesn't have a clue what they're doing on the wells, is incorrect. We have five grants going with the state of California. They will not give you four grants. Four grants for the state, one with the federal government. They will not reimburse the money until they have spent a month reviewing all of the invoices and documentation to make sure it meets all of their requirements. And that is what we go through and we present an entire binder of information for each and every reimbursement request in addition to a summary of expenses. It's not just a matter of pulling a number out of my head to tell you what's remaining on the invoices. It is a very precise number. The, there is no relationship between the USDA grant now and well number two. USDA is funding well number five and wells three and four that were used to investigate whether well number five was even needed. And so that's so that's very it, it's, it's a very clear process, but the, the numbers are, are disconnected. Um, so we are uh, one of the things we're looking at in, in this meeting also is uh, the budget assumptions and criteria, and I did not hand out. Any other public comment? Yes, Luke. Yeah, just a real quick question on these assumptions. Does this include the? Uh, Post-retirement medical? Yep. Yes. Okay, and what has been done on that so far? The, the if I can, my brain goes back, we had an evaluation that was conducted by the auditor, and there was some clarification, some concerns based on old rules, meaning there, there was a question whether it was two, two employees or four employees. The rules that were put into place about, I'll call it grandfathering, were never ever finished. So from the standpoint, I must speak for myself, the, the grandfathering was never ever executed and finalized because of the, the, the verbiage. So we, on the books, we actually have four employees right now. Okay, my, here, you know, this has been asked a couple of times. How did that happen? If there was a rule, that they weren't going to receive those post-retirement benefits. I mean, I, I even lost those. I mean, a lot of people did. Governments have cut back mm -hmm. on that. I agree. So we did that to save money. How did that happen? Everybody knew it. Cindy, you knew because you always said Sharice was upset about that. How could that go through the office with two more employees on it and the board never find the out about it? The verbiage was never modified. So the what? The, the verbiage was never I'm not talking about the verbiage. I'm talking about who signed and said, "Okay, you're an employee, employee, and you get this." In the in the, I'll say employee handbook, it states in there. Yeah. But it doesn't say that they are not entitled to these benefits. Yes, what it yeah, says yeah, yeah, I think it does if you read it. And, and the employee's handbook is policy, wasn't it? The, the, the bottom line is, last month it came before the board. It was voted down because I abstained and he wasn't here and we didn't right. have enough votes. Right. So at that point, it was decided that there would be, it would be checked out a little further in meeting, in the conference, right? It would be, it would be corrected, it would be corrected, and that was going to come back to the board. There's, yeah. no, there's no correction to be done. Yeah. Just, it, it would be clarified, I'm sorry, it would be clarified and it would come back to the board. 
you yeah, actually yeah. have that motion in your packet. Um, where do I get the minutes for that? Now, since that, since that time, I've done a little more diligence and looked at it, and I am prepared to vote on it where I abstained last time. Pete did not uh, uh, What? Emory, what? Pete yeah. Pete 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 Emory. Emory had, didn't have a chance to vote on it. So if it comes back before the board, I don't know what happened, but... But, 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 but going back to it, going back to it, it seems like we have these things that happen all the time and we say, well, we're going to check into that. We're going to investigate into that. We'll, we'll see what happens. And then the ball is dropped and it just goes on and on. That's how exactly this has happened all the time. But my question again is, somebody processed the paperwork for those employees and they would have known that it was different than what we've done to for everyone else. Because if any employee, which I understand there have been, when they were hired, they were told, no, you do not get this, it's been changed. Then they've suffered a detriment, and now you're going to give it to people, you're going to jump over them and give it to other people. I, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. If you carefully read the employee booklet, what you think it says is not what it says whatsoever. If you read it very carefully and read it again and read it again, suddenly you go, oh, all it does is exclude one class of people from being... Well, it's not excluding a class of people. Retire, that's all it says. It's, straight, it's straightening out something that was paying too much money. No, it and it that. should be a surplus to all these people. It should be extra money to yeah. us yeah. and not an unfunded liability. Okay. You know what? It defines a group of people and then excludes them. Gentlemen. And they knew it when they were hired. Lou, it's going to come back. It's going to come back to it. I know, but what I'm saying is if you guys proceed with that and pick up what, what uh, Pete here is saying, well, we're going to continue on this way, I think you're going to be looking at a hell of a lawsuit. Okay. Well, who's going to sue? Probably the customers in the class action, because you're not taking care of these people who pay the bills. But I pay the bill. Yeah, I, I pay the bill, okay, bill too. Gentlemen, gentlemen. We're, we're, it's, okay. we're going to work, continue to work to straighten it out, because it's something that has fell of the weeds, and we continue to find... Lou, it was, it was here when you were on the board. It was here when you were on the board. That's right, and that's why I want to know how it slipped by, because it was ironclad. No more employees were going to get I that. Think it's then two more got, got picked I up. Think it was ironclad. Who, changed, who changed the policy to pick up the other two? It was changed, Lou. That's what I'm trying it's to say. It's in the handbook. It was interpreted differently. Who did that? Read the English. Who did? You're not answering the friggin' question. Who did it? You somebody interpreted it saying this is not the no, this no. is not the agenda item. Number it seven. never is. Right. It never is. And when you request it to be put on the agenda, no, it's not it's there. Not and it. then when you do the research, it, it never comes on the board meeting last month. Yeah. Yeah. It was on the agenda last month. That's month. right. And, and that's when people found out it was wrong. And you're still trying to keep it wrong. I I, I don't think we're trying to do that. So well, it's sure. Be, it's well, not my well, recommendation would be that we change it appropriately. That we, that's right. We take that them we off. do it by yeah, action of the board, which has not occurred before. The board thought they took action. They did not. No, right. no, no, so no, in no, the future, no. the board will take action. The, no. the more that board members receive uh, no. go through the various academies and receive the understanding and spend the time to go to training and get the get the knowledge and have the the management understanding of the requirements and adequate record keeping you're not going to have it in the future we have not i'm not saying that cindy hasn't kept up with it it has been going on forever she's trying to piece it back together on uh but those uh, uh those employees were hired, I don't know, many years, several years ago. Uh, Not very many. Uh, but before, let's, let's put it this way, definitely before 2014. Be careful. Before 2014. Because remember they were hired, but they were temporaries. They were, they were out of probationary period before I had any idea about who these employees were. But the truth they is, were we have a moratorium on hiring right. before mm -hmm. until this issue was resolved, so no one can get hired. Well, that's we have to resolve we this before we do it. Like, I've got to fill the position, but, but when it comes to what benefits are offered, I would not be making a commitment to someone coming on in the future that they had medical benefits into retirement until there was action by this board to resolve, to resolve it. It would still be in question, in my opinion. 
That should be a written statement to them. So yeah, that's it's, right. I, I don't don't count on it. I don't know. Don't count on it. Um, you know, it's it's not a it's not a benefit that this district should be offering. I'm going to do it too. It's not a benefit that this district. You guys need a state money. audit. You need a state audit, is what you need. So, need. is it not a handbook of um, all of you. for employees or yeah. the benefits? Like the state water huh? Policies and regulation from the office. Pardon me, ma'am. It's a handbook for employees. Yes. Yes. So they explain the uh, office policies and regulations. Yes, it's in there. Yes. Yes. And there was. It's a gray enough area. So. So Somebody made it finish. Right. Let me finish, please. So please. Just a minute, ma'am. Just a minute. What we we had it on the agenda last month. It was on our agenda. We could not come to an agreement of how to move forward. We're going to bring it back to the agenda again. It will be discussed in open forum, just like it was last month, because we had some confusion. The verbiage is not extremely clear. And so, therefore, we did not want to move forward and make a poor decision. Some of us wanted to, some of us didn't, so we will we will revisit with the full board here. So everything has to be updated? It has been updated, and the way, we, the way some of us interpret the verbiage today is that they're entitled to the benefits, and some may not. So we need to really clarify and make sure that we're all on a level playing field and we will have that discussion again now. So that handbook has to be given to every employee yes, so everybody mm -hmm. knows their yes. policies, their benefits? Yes ma'am, they do have it. They do have it, yes. So, but it's not being updated? It has been updated, yes ma'am. You told me it's not. Well, because I'm, some people get benefits, some, some are well, not. I think it's the, so what, what, what I'm saying there, it's the interpretation of the, of the verbiage in the handbook, and there's all these different changes that were really never clarified extremely clear. So that's where we have some confusion. And it's not, I know this, the, the direction and the comments are being based at this board, but some of this goes back on prior boards as well. But they started, let me finish, that this was started and never really resolved, and that's why we had. We call them the skeletons keep coming out. We keep finding things and we're trying to fix them so we can move forward on a very solid foundation. So. But should not be a confusion because it's been updated. But so it's it an interpretation clear, of the verb. It has to be clear. That's, yeah. yes. I mean, you can interpret anything different. I mean, you've interpreted no. water license 11395 to give water anywhere you want. That's your interpretation. Thank that you. doesn't make it legal. Thank you. It's my okay, we're going to move on. We have the budget. Ma'am, if you'd like to see the verbiage that we're specifically Ooh. talking about, Bill, please give me a second. Um, the verbiage is in last the last month's agenda. You'll actually see what the handbook says if you'd like to see that. Or I'm sure you can request it from the text. So it is on the website. It's on the website, ma'am. Because uh, I understand everyone can, can be getting sued the community service anytime. Mm -hmm. That's why we're being very careful about what, what we But it's not clear. We understand that. That's what we're addressing. That's, that's exactly that's what we're addressing. Exactly. That's, exactly what we're that's exactly what we're addressing is that it is, is it unclear. Has to be done we're going to fix it, man. That's what we're trying to do. We're there trying to make it soon. clear. You don't even know when it happened. Yeah. Okay. You don't even know when it happened, and you're going to investigate why. more. I wonder why. Okay. Yeah, I wonder why. Stop, gentlemen. Stop, please. Please. Let's be. Let's be. Okay. Uh, we got the. We got the thing. We talked about the budget. I'll call for a vote to get, move this on to the next step. All in favor of the, the motion for the budget? Aye. Aye. Okay. The assumptions. Yeah. The assumptions. The assumption. Yeah. Repeat it one time. What are we voting on it? So I'm we'll, confused. We're moving the assumptions and criteria. There's a recommended motion. Uh, it's just that this is the basis of going to the finance committee. Finance committee. Okay. Okay. To me, then. Okay. So all in favor, we call for the vote. All in favor.